Why did you name your salon Trust? Because it's all about trust. You want to trust your hairdresser. You want to trust who's working on you. So it's always about trust. So essentially what you're saying is that Ms. Ostrock didn't trust you when you told her that this wasn't going to turn out well. No, she didn't trust me. Well, she should have trusted me because I haven't done this all my life to damage hair and to burn and fry hair off of someone's head. I'm there to make people look beautiful. And when I told her that it was not going to work out and she still insisted on me doing it, it made me uncomfortable. I told her that that's not what I do. Why didn't you do a hair test, a strand test, so that you could prove been, that she should trust you? I've been doing Mrs. Stryker's hair for 15 years. I've never done a strand test before. Strand tests are something that 99.99% .99 of the hairdressers in this city don't do a strand test. It's a recommendation to do through a state board, but it's not mandatory to be done. And with me working on her hair for so many years, I know her hair. And I knew that with her being at home doing her own hair in her kitchen, that the color that she had on her hair was going to be compromised. It's been uh, how many months now since you had your hair treatment? It was a year ago last February. Now, Mr. Wilkerson is emphatic about his warning you before you went through with this that it could damage your hair. Are you it, saying that that didn't it, happen? If he said it, it wasn't to me because I never heard those words from him at all. What time was it that you went into his salon? It was after work, probably got there about six o'clock. Do you actually remember? I the, remember the day the, that she came in. I remember the conversation that we what, had. Was it a busy day for you? It was not a busy day. It, we were just coming out of the pandemic. She was my last client of the day. She came in, she says, this is what I want. She showed me the pictures. I looked at her and I'm like, I don't feel comfortable in doing your hair this color. Well, why She's did like, you do it if you thought it was against your professional judgment? Because why Mrs. Did you Striker has a very strong personality and I've known her for 15 years and she said, I want it done because I want my hair to start growing out gray. Would you say you are strong-willed? I'm pretty assertive. Okay, so, yeah. so you could be persuasive at times. I wasn't persuading him about my hair, let's put it that way. Right. Now, if you had it to do over again, what would you do? I would do it in stages. I would like gradually bring her into that color. But why did you do it in the way that you did it then? Because Mrs. O'Shriker, she requested her hair to be that color. That... And I was trying to please the client. Okay. And did she only did you in... ask him how it should be done? No, I actually asked if it could be done. The answer was yes. Just for the record, I actually received my cosmetology license in college. I put myself through college doing hair, and I have a bit of a knowledge. And I may be a kitchen beautician, but I don't use over-the-counter products. I use good products, and I always took care of my hair. So kudos to me on that. Ms. Ostriker, so when your hair was done, you tipped Mr. Wilkerson $50. What was the conversation like? Did, did you not know what to say? Did you go home and cry? What happened? I was shocked. And when I did get home, I immediately wrote to him that my hair was falling out in clumps and he told me to get a good conditioning. And I said, okay, I'll schedule. And I told my kids about it and my kids just said, don't go back there. Don't let him touch your hair again. Is that the all. hair that I see from that time? Yeah. And if I turned around, you could see where the hair is God knows how many different lengths. And I think I'm missing a big chunk in the back. So in Mr. Wilkerson's answer, he says that you thanked him and said that this was exactly the color that you wanted. Is that not true? I may have thanked him, but it wasn't the color I wanted. I mean, I was totally in shock. Mr. Wilkerson, I'm looking at this photo that you provided of this client of yours here. Yeah. Has black hair. My hair, I'm too afraid to color my own hair and I don't want to have color in my hair. So this is my natural color. It's all black. If I wanted to have that blonde color there, would you have treated me the same way that you did, Ms. Yes. Okay. I would have did it the same way. I do my own hair. So I, I'm not a natural blonde and I bleach out my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm nowhere natural. And I would do the same thing. I put bleach on my hair to achieve this color. Okay. 